500 subscriber giveaway, 500 subscriber giveaway, ooh, 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 peanut butter jelly time, peanut butter jelly time, okay, we're like 10 subscribers away from a 500 subscriber giveaway, and I have a whole box ready to go to the winner, uh, this is Raven's Crochet, I'm Sarah, and this is Raven, thank you to all my new subscribers, welcome back if you've been here before, my channel is named after Raven, here she is. She's mostly black and she's got those white markings under her. Um, I mentioned she's kind of looks like she's got to wear a bikini due to her white markings. Um, so I've got her. So here she is. Give me Raven. It's okay. Let me show everybody your white markings. So she's got a little bit on her chest and then there's and her neck and then there's her chest and there's her lower belly. You can see it better when she's rolling around on her back. I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. I'm just showing everybody how pretty you are. I'm just showing everybody how pretty you are. It's okay, little bug. It's okay, little bug. She is so soft. Um, if you guys have ever worked with Mako cotton, she is just as soft as the Mako cotton. Like, it is amazing. I'm like comparing back and forth Mako cotton, Raven. Mako, Raven. They're just as soft. So if you've never worked with Mako Cotton, look it up online. Um, go to your Google taskbar, wherever you search for things, M-A-K-O Cotton, and you'll find um, some websites that sell Mako Cotton. It's supposedly, I can't remember exactly um, what the difference is between Mako Cotton and regular cotton, but Mako, I think, has been worked up to be a much softer cotton to work with. And it's especially good if you have like extreme sensitive skin, you love wearing cotton, um, but you're still sensitive to it, perhaps. Um, some people can be allergic to cotton. So try looking up Mako cotton, it's great. So I have a small ice yarns, a package that was just delivered a few minutes ago. I'm like super excited, like I just got out of bed a little bit ago. I'm still drinking my coffee. I'm using my sewing mug. I think I got this from Annie's catalog, the link for this is in this descri uh, description box below. It's like almost all the way down in the description box. There's a link for um, where I got this mug. Now, if they are out, if they are sold out of this mug, then go to your search engine taskbar and just type in sewing mug. And you'll be able to find this cup or perhaps something similar. And the handle's a tape measure, isn't that cute? So I'm drinking my coffee. Mm. It's donut flavored coffee. And I like to um, I like to put vanilla creamer in it. It's super good. So I got just a tiny little bit. I got some more saver yarn to finish one of my blankets. I'm actually using this yarn in, in two different blankets I'm working right now. I'm still working on my sister Sophia's blanket for her birthday, and her birthday is at the end of September. And I'm working on a hexagon blanket <clears throat> for uh, my carpenter friend. He has a diamond plate. Um, design in his car and he really loves it and I'm working with a anthracite black and a gray and white and black mix for the borders around each hexagon so it'll be a very manly blanket for him this is saver color anthracite black 52949 these are running I think $5.99 a pack for two this is um, really really good acrylic to work with it's super soft I have four squares already worked up of Saver, Red Heart, Craft Smart from Michael's Value Yarn, and Big Twist. So I'll be doing laundry later today and, and washing and drying those squares so I can, um, I can compare how they work, I can compare how, the amount of fuzz that they get, um, how they wash and dry. And hopefully I can find some prices, some current prices on them. So I'll be sharing that with you in an upcoming video. Um, this Saver yarn is 100% Draylon acrylic. There are 330 meters in each skein. And with shipping, it's like almost $10 a pack. And it's not a bad deal. You go to a local craft store and, and you could probably find these for like $4, $4.50, $5 a skein, depending on where you go. Michael's, Joann's. Walmart, Hobby Lobby, or a local yarn store. So I got two of these, so I have more than enough to finish my blankets. And then, this is the main thing I ordered. 
Rainbow Suck Yarn. This is 67421. And it is called Smart Sock Rainbow. This was, I believe, it was at least $10 a package on the website. It might have been more. It could have been up to $12. But this is actual sock yarn. It is 75% superwash wool and 25% polyamide. 400 meters. It is a number one. And it is called Smart Sock. I don't know if you can see all the details on there. You probably cannot because my camera cannot focus. But I got this with the intention of sending us. I'm going to send this to another podcaster um, who's been making socks. And I love watching her channel. Um, I want to send her some stuff to support her. Um, she makes me laugh in almost all of her videos. Um, and her name is Jennifer. And she is uh, Cinnamon Stitches. She's super great. I love how she talks about being confident about your body and not to let other people um, get to you and get in your head if, if they're judging you by appearance. Appearance is only skin deep. I think the beauty within, within your soul, within your heart and your mind and just the way you present yourself and communicate with other people, that is the most important thing. Is to be a good human. And I think the majority of us, pretty much in this community, we are already good people. So let's spread the love. Be a good human and put rainbows next to it. Or some kind of symbol or image that you like. So I'm going to send this to a podcaster. I'm going to send it to her next week because I have a few other things I'm going to include. I got one other package. This was only $3 a package. This was to increase the value of my yarn, and I will explain that here in a second. This is 68393 Mild Fine Red. This is, let me take, I'm gonna take this one out and I'll show you. It is super soft, super, super soft. I love it. This is Mild Fine, 95% acrylic, 5% elastin. It's a lightweight number two, 320 meters. I'm gonna work this up two strands at a time. I'm just gonna double the strand up and work with it like that. But the reason I got red was because my grandmother loves red. I can make her a lightweight, thinner um, shoulder shawl. She likes to sit at, at, at her kitchen table. There's like a beautiful window right behind her kitchen table um, of all of their floral, um, their flowers and the herbs that they grow. And um, sometimes she gets a little cold and, and I have these little shawls that I made for her, but this is a thinner yarn. So I wanted to make her a more lightweight shawl she can use in the, in, in the warmer months, like now. But I also got it to include with blue. I got this in a previous order. Exact same brand of yarn. It's the Mild Fine. It's just in a different color blue. They have three color blues right now. And see, this is the middle color. They've got a light blue. This is the blue. And then they have a darker blue, like a bold royal blue. I got this with the intention of making hats for Hat Not Hate, but I'm going to have plenty of, of this yarn left over. I'm going to include the red, and then I have another, I don't have the exact same brand of yarn in the cream khaki color, which is fine because I already have a number two weight yarn in a, in a cream color already that I've ordered, and I'm going to include one blue, one red, and one strand of white to make... Um, for the July baskets for next year. Wouldn't that be fun? To include three strands of yarn, working it up all, all the way together, and those will be really, really fun little, little baskets. So half of this will be used for hats, and the other half will be used for Fourth of July baskets. Half of this will be used for Fourth of July baskets, and the other half will be used for my grandmother's shawl. So I have plans for all of it. And that's all I got for ice yarns. Now, I paid $26.96 for all of the yarn and $23.95 for shipping. Altogether, it was $50.91. Take your total amount, $50.91, divided by the amount of balls that you ordered. So I got four balls of saver, four balls of the sock yarn, and eight balls of that mild fine red. So that's 16 balls altogether. $50.91 divided by 16 balls gives me 
a deal, really good deal. $3.18 per ball I paid. So yes, ice yarn shipping can be quite high, but just go on there and experiment. You never know what kind of good deals you're gonna get. And like I've mentioned before, when you select everything that you wanna purchase, that is within your budget. Um, go to the closeout yarn section. It's at the very top. It'll, there'll be like a little bitty bar that says closeout yarn. And there are tons and tons and tons of options. Pick yourself a, a yarn that is less than 62 cents per ball. These are $3 a package, $2.99. And I believe that makes it, oh, if I can calculate off the top of my head without my calculator, eh, my, my head hurts, I can't do that right now. $3 divided by eight balls of yarn, that's a really good deal. It's, it's like less than 50 cents a ball, right? So I think it might be 37 cents, if I can remember right, 37 cents a ball. So anyways, um, do that, add one or two close out packets of yarn it is going to increase the value of your yarn and here and here's how I calculated that so three dollars and eighteen cents <throat> per ball of yarn that I got with all my shipping now if I take this off if I did not order this I would have paid forty seven dollars and change I don't know exactly to the penny but it would have been forty seven dollars because that pack was three dollars and uh, maybe $46 because you know you want to include the shipping. So if I had not gotten this $3 pack of the closeout yarn, I would have been paying $5.88 per ball of yarn. So you see the difference. $3.18 per ball, $5.88 per ball. Yeah, I'm adding like maybe five bucks with shipping for more yarn, but that's a huge, huge deal huge amount of savings and I have plans for that yarn. If you have any of uh, ideas of what you could use for that yarn, go ahead and get it. If you don't have any ideas but you like the color and you like the fiber content, go ahead and get it. If you're a podcaster, go ahead and get something that you think you might like to throw into a giveaway when you order the ice yarns. Um, I have tons and tons of yarn and a lot from my ice yarns that I will be including in future giveaways. Not my 500 subscriber giveaway. This is just the first, you know, prelude. But when I reach 1,000 subscribers, I will be including a package of ice yarns. And it'll be colorful, and it'll be bright, and it'll be cheery, and it'll be fun to work with, and you'll love it. So, thank you again for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for sticking with me and bearing with me. I am a slower moving channel, but I have a full time job. I've got other responsibilities. I have Raven. And all the while, yeah, I crochet fast when I'm actually crocheting, but I'm slow at getting projects done because of how exhausting my full-time job is. And a lot of times I work overtime. I'll work maybe six days a week. Um, I try to have at least one day off a week. So that way I have time to work on my channel and work on my yarn crafts. Not to mention I have gifts and stuff I'm trying to work on too. Um, I also need to clean out my sewing machine. I have three plastic tote bins full and full of fabric that I still have not gotten to work with yet. And watching Jennifer and Cinnamon Stitches, she's been making all these project bags. And I'm like, you know what? I need to do the same thing. I have all of my yarn projects in either big gallon plastic bags or I have them in reusable shopping bags. Um, maybe one of my big purses that I don't normally carry. And... I just have projects all over the place that need to be finished. So I have tons and tons and tons and tons of cotton fabric. I need to make some project bags. And next year, it's gonna be a while, but next year I'll have an Etsy shop and I will have project bags in my Etsy shop for sale. Because I know a lot of you are interested in buying project bags. So that's gonna be next year thing. I can't I can't bought off more, more than I can chew. Um, I have all this other stuff going on right now, gifts I need to finish. Um, hi baby girl so um, I have that to work on so I hope this ice yarns calculation calculation thingies make make sense to you adding that three dollar bag of closeout yarn makes it such a greater deal when you order from ice yarns um, pick pick yourself out five or six packs of yarn that you like and add one or two packages of closeout yarn it's a much much better deal 
Now, when I, when I do this also, I try to calculate getting each pack of yarn for about 10 bucks with the shipping. So this time I did good because of the deal. I got four packages for 50 bucks. Okay, so $40 for the yarn, $10.91 for the shipping. That's a pretty good deal considering I'm getting it at $3.18 per ball. That's how I look at it. So the more bags of the closeout yarns that you add, the $2.99, these two for $2.99 per pack, the more of these that you add on, and there are lots of different kinds. It's not just the mild fine yarn that's $3. Like I said, there are tons and tons and dozens of options. But the more closeout yarns you add to your order, the greater value you are getting for your yarn. So look at your total again, your shipping and your yarn cost, and then calculate how many balls of yarn you are getting in each pack. Take your total amount, Divide it by the number of balls you're getting in your in your in your order And if it is within a five dollar range, especially if it's below five bucks, you are getting a really really good deal three dollars and 18 cents per ball in my order that I got And all I got was this in my order Three dollars and 18 cents for 16 balls So I'm really really happy with that Um. Jennifer, if you see this, I will be sending this to you. I know how much you love rainbows. I love rainbows just as much. And I don't make socks, but I would love to see you make up some socks with this. Um, you, can, you can make a shawl with it, too, if you wanted to. You can make anything you want out of this. It doesn't have to be socks, but I thought this would be really, really fun for Jennifer. And, um, and so, yeah, 500 subscriber giveaways come up real soon. Um, the next video... I believe it'll be um, and that'll be coming up soon I'm also thinking about making a little bitty crochet item to include in, in my giveaway so um, I might have a handmade item in there as well and then something else I wanted to show you I made this last night a little round three three rows of half double crochet and I keep all of my darning needles in it so that way I'm not having to fish through my bag I love these see-through bags I take this when I'm out and about with my yarn projects. I can dig in here without looking through deep into a dark bag. I can just see, I can just see right what, what I need. I've got my scissors in here. These scissors are great. I have the link for these in the description box below. You can order these on Amazon in different quantities. Um, and they're really, really great foldable scissors. They are extremely, extremely, extremely sharp. If you have these, if you get these, if you work with these, please be careful extremely sharp I'm not even joking not just the tips but the these are very very sharp I've already nicked my fingers on these like a few times and I have a tape measure this was from Hobby Lobby it goes to five feet long yarn rolls yes it does and I have an extra stitch crochet hook and I have like a, a small little pattern in here I've already worked up this is from Jada and Stitches her um, her hood scarf is a really great pattern and I've got some buttons and some stitch markers and just some little knickknacks in there and stuff. And some some stitch row counters that you can put on your crochet hook. And I just love this. I don't have to dig around for a certain darning needle. I can just go right in here and just slip one out when I need to use it. And I keep all this with me when I crochet. So that is all I have for now. Thank you guys so much for watching and joining me. Um, Raven and I are going to relax for a little bit. I'm going to finish my coffee and I'm going to get some chores done and um, get everything prepared for the 500 subscriber giveaway. I uh, thank you guys so much and I hope you all are having a great crochet day. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I can't wait to pick a winner. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. It's like my first giveaway ever. You see, you see how stoked I am, right? I'm like really, really, really excited. So, um, spread the word, spread the love, more subscribers. And if you like my content, please at least hit the like button. At least hit the like button, pretty please. Pretty please, that would help. That would help spread the love. And um, thank you guys. Just thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't say that enough. So I hope you all are having a great crochet day. Bye-bye.